All right, so I got this set up. Um, my voice is probably muffled. When I'm grinding and stuff, I like to use a, or I'm doing a lot of grinding and stuff on the um, sander, the grinder, whatever. I like to wear a um, face mask, a dust mask type thing. Otherwise, you're breathing in a lot of steel particles and stuff, and uh, <laughs> you mess yourself up. But um, make sure I got my safety glasses on. And uh, you might say, ah, I'm a big man, I don't need safety glasses. Well, I know guys that have welded for years and years and years, and uh, you know several of them that were like, uh, I, I didn't think I needed them. And uh, ended up ended up getting some pretty hefty spark. I know one guy that went blind, and uh, several that just about went blind just by getting sparks and stuff in their eyes. So wear your safety glasses. So this is gonna get loud, but uh, here we go. Now you can kind of see, if I want to leave that, you know, if I wanted to make it kind of different looking, I could just leave that flat, straight in the front. I don't know, maybe I will. Maybe that's how I'll run it. Um, it's kind of different, something different. Um, I don't know. But anyways, what, you know, what you do is just stay on the outside of your line. Um, like you can kind of see. Hopefully I did here. You know, here's my line that I was going on. And, um, that's where you, you want to stay now. That way when you cut, it's going to come into that a little bit. So, um, another tip. When you're cutting with one of these, uh, grinders with a cutoff wheel, um, take and don't stay in one spot. Go back and forth. Because what that'll do it's already going to get warm on you. Um, it'll get really hot if you stay in one spot and just grind and grind and grind and cut and cut and cut and cut. It'll get really hot on you and it'll take some of the temper out of your material. And you don't want to do that. So um, I'm going to cut the rest of this out and uh, I'll get back with you. Alright, so I thought I'd show you how I'm doing. I started doing it and I thought, oh, I better show you how I'm doing this. To get this hook here, um, right in here, all I'm doing is taking, I cut down along my line down into here. And then I'm just taking and I'm cutting little chunks like that. And I'll start taking them out. I'll angle my grinder different ways and I'll just start taking it out. And then I can take and I can work my grinder back and forth in there to smooth that out. And then that'll give me my round, that round hook right in there. Um, so that's, that's all I'm doing to, to get that out of there. So, I just thought I'd show you that quick. So, I'll be right back with you. Alright, so, this is what we got. Um, kind of what we're uh, left with there after I cut it all out. Um, see, move this around here. See the, the hook that I'm making in the front. Um, That'll be, you know, I can pull stuff down, I can cut limbs, certain size, you know, up to a certain depth, thickness. Um, I'll make a cutting edge on that, um, and my edge here. I don't think I'm going to put that bevel in there. I think I'm going to leave it square like that. Um, I can always, if later, if I want to, um, I don't like that square like that, I can uh, always take and... and round that down but come down here 
And this is just like I said a rough a rough out on this. Um, nice. I think that'll feel pretty good. Get get some grips on that. I think it'll feel good around the back end down on the sander and uh, all that. And I'll show you how I'm going to do everything. So that side, see, that's what it what looked like before I cleaned it up. That color, it was paint. You know that heat treat on there, heat paint. Um, and then the clean side. So to mark it, probably better to clean it up. I'm going to actually clean this side up before um, I start on uh, on the uh, sander. That way I kind of, I can mark my angle of my grind on the other side so I know how far to come to get that same angle um, on this side. So, but once I get that done and get over and get set up on the um, sander, I'll uh, get back with you. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, so I thought I'd show you another little trick here. To figure out so you get an even grind, um, to figure out, you know, where the center is so you know where to come to uh, with your grind, you know, so you're not off one side to the other. Um, take a drill bit, this happens to be 3 16th, um, 3 16th drill bit, and that's going to give you your center, that tip. It's going to give you your center. So all you do is take and set that flush on the table and you scribe that. If I get that right. Now, I don't think you're going to be able to see that. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. But that line, yeah, you can't really see it. But anyways, that'll give you that'll give you your um, your center. Now you want to make sure you keep your drill bit flat as you're sliding it. Um, I mean, it's hard to hard to see, uh, really. But that use a drill bit, and that'll give you your get your center center mark. So, I just thought I'd show you that little trick. So, Alright, see you in a bit. Alright guys, so, what I'm doing is I'm using my sander. I don't have a real fancy sander like a, a knife belt sander or anything like that. Those things are pretty expensive, so. I don't, I don't have, I don't have one of them. So, what I'm going to do is, um, <coughs> excuse me is I'm going to start out, and I started doing it, I'm just going to run this right up. I'm using my center mark. Hopefully you can see. I actually used a, took a marker then and run down the center with uh, where that line of I, I scribed earlier was. And then I have this line. And I'm just going to take and, and take it down the best I can. Um, and I'm going to show you how I'm doing that. This is a uh, 80 grit sandpaper. Uh, if you had something like 60 or 40, that would work even better for the initial takedown. Sorry about that, all that noise. Um, <coughs> you can see that it's, I don't have quite the right, I need to be a little, I don't know, not quite as steep of a, an angle when I'm going up across there. Um, steaming because I stuck it in water. You want to keep quenching it in water um, to keep it from heating up real hot. Um, but you can see, uh, I need a little steeper angle there. 
I don't know. I'm just going to play around with it. I might not go that deep with it. Uh, but it, that's what you got to do. You just got to kind of mess around with it and see what what's going to work and what's not. Just as you go. <coughs> like I said, if you had if you had a real fancy knife sander or something like that, you know, you could make that really, really nice. But uh, I don't have one, and I'm sure a lot of other people don't have them. So this is just a, a way you can do it. And you could always take this down with uh, your grinder. You know, take that angle down with your grinder if that's all you had. Um, you know, just use your grinder to take it down. But I'm going to keep going with this, and I'm going to show you what we end up with. <laughs> 